Why do some things get our attention and others don't? What makes us use certain things over and over again? Is there a pattern to the way technology gets us hooked? This podcast tells people about the Hooked Model, a four-step plan that companies use to get customers to do things over and over again. Successful products meet their ultimate goal of getting users to come back again and again without spending a lot of money on advertising or being pushy about it. Hooked is a book about how to make goods that people want to use, not just because they have to. This audiobook is written for product managers, designers, marketers, company founders, and people who want to learn more about what makes us act the way we do. It gives listeners tips on how to make user habits that stick around, steps you can take to make goods that people love, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and other products that make it easy to form habits use these methods. Added to the second version, a second case study to help people form healthy habits. Near Isle put together years of study, consulting, and hands-on experience to write a guide for making products that people will use over and over again. Nair has taught at the Hasso Plattner Institute of Design and the Stanford Graduate School of Business. His articles about technology, psychology, and business are published in the Atlantic, TechCrunch, Psychology Today, and the Harvard Business Review. He also wrote the book How to Control Your Attention and Choose Your Life, How to Be Indestructible. Introduction In this chapter, Eyal and Hoover explain what habit-forming products are and how they can be used to build businesses that do well. They give an overview of the book and talk about how it can help business owners and product designers make goods that customers keep buying over and over again. The Habit Zone, Part 1. In this chapter, Eyal and Hoover talk about how important it is to understand the habit zone, which is where an action turns into a habit. They explain how to find the habit zone for a certain product and give tips on how to create products that can make people do things that become habits. The Four Steps to Making a Habit In this chapter, Eyal and Hoover explain that a habit is made up of four parts, a cue, an action, a reward, and an investment. They explain how each step helps form a habit and give examples of how these steps can be used to make goods that help people form habits. Chapter 3 the first step. In this chapter, Eyal and Hoover talk about triggers, which are the first step in making a routine. They talk about how to make triggers that get people to act and interact with a product. They give examples of different kinds of triggers, such as alerts and feelings. Chapter 4. The second step. Doing something. In this chapter, Eyal and Hoover talk about acts, which is the second part of a habit. They show how to make actions that users can do easily and enjoyably. They show how to make actions easier to do and reduce friction to make goods more interesting. Chapter 5. The third step, payoffs. This chapter is about the third step of a habit, which is benefits. They show how to make rewards that make users happy and keep them coming back. They give examples of different kinds of rewards, like social rewards, like praise from peers, and internal rewards, like feeling good about yourself. Chapter 6. Investing is the fourth step. This chapter is about the fourth step of a habit, which is spending. They talk about how to make goods that make people want to put time, effort, and money into them. They show how to make goods that get better over time and make people want to use them again and again. Chapter 7. How the Hooked Model Really Works. In this chapter, Eyal and Hoover talk about the secrets of the Hooked Model, which is a guide for making goods that people tend to use over and over again. They show how to use the Hooked Model to make products that get people to act, keep them interested, and make them want to stick with the product. Chapter 8. Making Things for How People Use Them In this chapter, Eyal and Hoover talk about how important it is to plan for how people use the site. They show how to use user research, data analytics, and iteration to make products that meet users' needs and preferences. They show how to use facts about how people use a product to make it better and get people more interested in it. The Ethics of Persuasive Design, Chapter 9 In this part, Eyal and Hoover talk about what is right and wrong when it comes to persuasion. They show how to use techniques of persuasive design in a moral and responsible way. They show how to avoid deceptive design practices and put the happiness and well-being of users first. 
Chapter 10, The End In this chapter, Eyal and Hoover summarize the main points of the book and stress how important it is to make habit-forming products that meet the needs and desires of the people who use them. They encourage business owners and people who make products to use the book's ideas and strategies to build great businesses that, that give customers value. Thanks for watching our Amazon book review. If you found our review helpful and you're interested in checking it out for yourself, we've included a link to it in the description below. By clicking on that link, you'll not only get more details about it on Amazon, but also support our channel at no cost to you. So go ahead and click that link to grab your copy of the book and dive into an exciting reading journey. Happy reading and thanks for your support.